called on company. Yeah. So that is the reason why I wanted people to join and practice, say, speaking in English. Not that we are not good in English, but then the practice is needed. That is the reason. Good. So we will start now. Any questions, Anup Kumar? Kuch doubt hai aapka? Anup Kumar? No, sir. Please, sir. Chai, are you are from which state? Sir, Kerala. Oh, good. What is the degree you have done? Uh, sir, I com just completed my post-graduation, sir. Post-graduation? See, whenever yes, a sir, question is whenever uh, whenever a question is asked like this, you should give a full answer. I have completed post-graduation in commerce. Okay. okay, sir, okay sir. Or I have done AMCOM. Like that, you can tell fully. Good. Galaxy A30, what is your name? Oh, Pooja, Pooja. Galaxy A30. Oh, name sir. is Pooja, na? Yeah. Yes, sir. Okay, okay, fine. So, Pooja is from which place? Oh, sir, I am from Maharashtra, Aurangabad. Oh, good, good. What is the degree you have done? Sir, I completed my post. Uh, I am completed my graduation in biotechnology and uh, I am post graduated in MSc. MSc? Oh, MSc. Very good. Biotech. Biotech. Very good, very good. Okay, we will start uh, the uh, discussion on effect of chat GPT on journalism. Uh, say the here the practice will be we will go each one of us will speak for at least two minutes you may have a lot of points to say but speak only for two minutes and stop so that the next speaker will speak and after all of us speaking then we can make it as an open discussion if there are some more points to be told we can cover it up in that to start with today, I think first candidate to join our group was Vinita. Vinita, first Vinita, followed by Arya, followed by Valar, then Poco, Porkodi, Anup, then Puja. Last till now, Puja is the last candidate. So please start, Vinita. Vinita, you can just enter since this is the first time you are participating in this group. You can yes, inter sir. introduce yourself um, so that that will be an opportunity for you to communicate in English and to gain yeah. confidence also. Please start. Sir, I am Vinita. I am from Tamil Nadu. I completed my B.Sc. Mathematics and M.A. Public Administration. Okay. This is the first class of me, sir. I am not prepared for the topic. But can I talk afterwards? Yeah, you, you wait and then talk afterwards. No problem. Okay. Now we will go to Arya. Arya ji. Arya, are you ready for the discussion on this? Arya. Arya, Arya, Arya. Arya, I think our, our mic has not connected. That's a problem. Poco M4, can you speak now? Yes, sir. I, I am yeah. not prepared about this topic now. It's my uh, first class, sir. Achha. I want time. Achha. So, you want time? Okay. Yes, sir. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. No problem. Now, next is, we will go to Porkodi. Porkodi. Porkodi, tell about yourself and then start discussing on this topic. Okay. I have completed yeah, I have completed B B Ed in twenty twenty. Uh, thank you for giving me this opportunity to uh, discuss about uh, GPT and Chat stands for Generative Transformer. It was developed by an artificial intelligence company, Open AI. Uh, Chat GPT is an artificial intelligence. Ad technology uh, that can process our natural human language uh, generate a response. If we ask a question in chat GPT, it will answer uh, uh, quickly. Nowadays, artificial agents are in uh, many fields in journalism. Uh, it creates a more uh, positive impact in journalism. Mm. I think your internet is not all right. 
for her uh, the internet you know it is always uh, problematic in her, in her area it is a problem <laughs> i think your so internet I, I your just... your internet is not all right correct Yes, sir. I think seven o'clock. Now inter... I am out, sir. Now you are okay, but then again it will not come on. Speak, speak. Okay, sir. Uh, yes. Um, in previous days, uh, journalists faced many struggles to collect news. Uh, uh and uh, all this uh, old data and uh, etc. It took much time, but nowadays, uh, using a uh, we can get uh, news uh, and uh, uh, analyzing data with a very uh, quick scam. Uh, I also give uh, in depth analysis. So, it... mm. I think our uh, internet is not all right, it doesn't matter. We will go to uh, for Kodi, your internet is not all sure, right. Sir. Your internet is, is yes, tro sir. troubling too much. Then we will go to Anup Kumar. Anup Kumar, can you speak? Have you prepared on this or not? Anup Kumar. Uh, sir. Okay, sir. Sir, I just switched to home now. Uh, I'll just give a brief, sir, about ChatGPT. Uh, mm -hmm. You please tell a, a brief about you. That will be better. Okay, sir. Okay. Thank you, sir. The okay, idea, idea okay. is you must speak in English. That's all. Okay, sir. My name is Anup Kumar. I am coming from Kerala, uh, Kota and Kerala. So I completed my graduation BCom. Uh, and uh, till uh, just now I completed the post graduation MCOM. Uh, so we all know that ChatGPT is an uh, artificial intelligence tool. Uh, it is also known as a natural language processing tool driven by, uh, I think, uh, AI technology uh, that allows people to make uh make certain conversation between uh, a robotic in their uh, robot uh, robotic uh with a chat box uh, like uh, like we can see in the whatsapp or something like that uh it can be used for various purposes such as uh, writing code uh, or explaining uh, something uh, explaining exp explaining something a complex concept uh, and story writing social media concept etc etc and ChatGPT in journalism, uh, it is uh, it can be used to verify the uh, uh, accuracy of news stories uh, by comparing uh, by comparing them to other sources uh, and identify uh, any inconsistencies or errors. Uh, so ChatGPT is an a tool that sits sir. Is it a blessing or this blessing in uh, this It's a blessing, sir. I think it's a blessing. In my point of view, it's a blessing point. Good. Uh, that's what you want to say. Good. Excellent. Now, next person to speak will be uh, Pooja. Pooja, have you prepared on this or not? Because I know you came in the last minute. Have you prepared for this? Uh, sir, I'm prepared a little bit. Please tell. Please tell. Tell about you in detail. Talk about you in detail. Tell about your village. Tell about your family without telling names uh, you get more opportunity to speak in english okay sir i will try uh, good uh, good evening everyone my name is puja nagre i am from maharashtra uh, mainly in, from aurangabad aurangabad is a historical uh, historical city in maharashtra uh, then i uh, i completed my graduation in biotechnology uh, after that, uh, I completed my post graduation in MSc Biotechnology. Uh, when, uh, uh, in my family, they, uh, I have uh, I have two, two siblings. Uh, my uh, young, uh, elder sister and elder brother. Uh, that's it, sir. <laughs> now tell about this topic. You are prepared or not? No. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, so chat GPT, uh, chat GPT is uh, used in journalism mostly. Uh, chat GPT allows uh, allows journal uh, journalists to quickly uh, gather some information uh, from multiple so multiple sources and analyze it in a uh, short time. Uh, chat GPT helps the journalist uh, journalist due to uh, its automation automation system. Uh, 
uh, chat gpt used to the uh, research and uh, write stories uh, faster and quickly uh, then uh, then uh, compared to the um, uh, human beings uh, journalists uh, take uh, lots of time to, uh, to do it um uh, effect of chat effect of chat gpt uh, is uh, uh, as as compared to the positively but it's uh, it's a negative impact on journalism and journalists also uh, chat gpt uh, due to the automation process of chat gpt uh, uh, mm. uh, automation of chat gpt uh, due, uh, due to this uh, journalists uh, lost lost their job because uh, most of the task uh, tasks are uh, computed by the uh, uh, chat gpt uh, so uh, it's uh, it's so uh, it's uh, too much cost saving also and uh, uh, the, there decrease uh, decrease of their job uh, in journalism uh, sector that's good. So. very good i know most of us have not prepared for this today because you have come at short notice. So now I would request first candidate, Vinita. Vinita, you please, are you seeing on the screen something? Vinita? Vinita, yes, we are seeing on something on the screen. Yes, please, yes, please read. Please read this. Effect of chat GPT on journalism. Yeah. Effect of chat GPT on journalism. Chat GPT. The efforts of Chat GPT on journalism can be both positive and negative, depending on how it is used and generated into the field. Here, some potential impacts, positive impacts. Automated content generation. Chat GPT can be used to assist journalists in generating content quickly and effectively. It can help in writing some quickly, quickly and effect efficiently. Mm. It can help in writing summaries, generating data-driven reports, and even drafting initial version of articles. Mm. Fast, fast checking and research. Mm -hmm. Journalists please fast, read. Please read properly. Fact checking, fact huh? checking and mm. fact checking and research. You have Journalists, some. You have some eye problem, vision no, problem. Sir, I using in phone, sir. That's what. Oh, oh, oh. So you please enlarge it. So slightly enlarge it. Yeah, fact checking. And research. Mm. Journalists can use chat GPT as a tool to cross check facts and gather information during the research phase, potentially speeding up the fact checking process, personalization and recommendations. AI language models can analyze readers' prefer preference and behaviors to provide personalized content recommendations, leading to higher reader engagement and loyalty. Improved workflow. Integrating, a integrating AI language models into new rooms can streamline workflows, allowing journalists to focus on in-depth reporting and analysis rather than repetitive tasks, repetitive tasks, repetitive tasks. <laughs> Please read again. Improved workflow. Improved workflow. Integrated, integrating AI language models into new rooms can streamline workflows. Please, Please read again. Please read again. Improved workflow. Integrating AI la language models into new rooms can streamline workflows. Please, re please read again. Improved workflow, integrating AI mod language models into new rooms can streamline workflows. How many times? The... How many times will you commit mistake, Vinita? What is given here? News, AI language. News rooms. Okay, sir. News I rooms. Said... Okay, okay, yeah. sir. Please read correctly. Improved workflow. Integrating AI language models into newsrooms can streamline workflows, allowing journalists to focus on in-depth reporting and analysis rather than repetitive tasks. The reason, Negative. Yeah, stop. The reason why I started this class even before the result is that many of us, including Vinita, has problem in reading itself. Even in reading contents, we commit mistakes. And then you can understand how much mistakes we'll be committing while 
talking or speaking in a GD. That is why this session was arranged. Anyhow, it doesn't matter. Next person, after Vinita, it will be Anup Kumar. Anup Kumar, please read. Negative, yes, negative effects, please read. Okay, sir. Negative effects. Uh, spread of misinformation. A language models can generate content that may that might be misleading or inaccurate if not monitored properly. Mm. There is uh, there is a risk of in in, 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 in there is a risk of inadvertently that is oh. without knowledge inadvertently means without knowledge. Uh, oh, okay, sir. Inadvertently spreading misinformation if journalists do not verify the output carefully. Erosion of quality journalism. Relying heavily on AI generated content may lead to a decrease in the quality and originality of journalism as, as human input and critical thinking could take a backseat. Mm. Bias and ethics. If not uh, adequately trained and monitored, AI models can inherit bias, biases from the training data, which may result in biased reporting on uh, perpetuation of existing prejudices perpetuation perpetuation okay sir job displacement w what is meant by prejudice 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 means having a biased view thinking that x is good y is bad like that prejudices malayalam malayalam enna parayu prejudice alochikya Tamil Lenama Solo, Malarmati, Pandatia, Porcodi Vandia, Sarunkanipasa Munkanipe, Alade, Prejudice, meaning in Tamil. Sir, in Malayalam, it's Munviti. Malayalam, what is it? Munviti. Ah, Munviti, that is prejudgment. Yes, sir. Prejudices. Tappa ennam. Here it is giving in Google, it is telling prejudices means tappa ennam or tavarana ennam. Parabatsham. Super. Yes, sir. That is a proper word. Parabatsham. That means supporting one set of ideas, one set of people. Maharashtra girl, please tell me, Hindi me kya bolte hai aplok? Uh, sir, wo, uh, pehle ke, uh, uh, ye jo thi na, wo judy member decide karte thi ki uh, victim is there uh, guilty or not. No, I no, wo aisa nahi hai. Prejudice in Hindi. Prejudice ka matlab in Hindi, what does prejudice, prejudice mean? Prejudice is an unreasonable dislike of someone or something or an unreasonable preference for one group over another, real prejudice, the sir, one minute. The, the survey found there is prejudice against working mothers. To prejudice someone or something means to influence them in such a way that they are no longer fair and objective. Hindi make, what does it mean in Telugu? Telugu lo em cheptu naru. Eekade emo jangri lo ras untaru. Anybody can read this jangri? Because uh, we Tamil people, we cannot read this. Anybody knows Telugu here? Nobody. Acha doesn't matter. Um, that, but now we know the prejudice. Likewise, whenever we speak, you know, we must try to understand the meaning of different words so that we can communicate properly. Now, I think, are you on this uh, uh, word file, chat GPT? Are you able to see that? Excuse me, Anup Kumar? Yes, sir. Are you able to see the file now? Bias and Hi, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, yes. Yeah. Please read. Uh, sir, next topic. Next one is job job displacement. 
the automation of certain journalist uh, journalist tasks through ai could potentially lead to job displacement in the industry impacting journalists and other related professions uh, loss of human touch readers often value the human element in journalism including the depth of analysis unique perspectives and emotional storytelling which ai language model models may not be able to re replicate to mitigate to mitigate the negative effects and harness uh, harness the positive aspect journalists and media organization should use a use ai language models responsibly they need to ensure content generated by ai is carefully reviewed and verified maintain high ethical standards be transparent about the use of ai in journalism and focusing on complementing human journalism with ai capabilities rather than replacing it entirely additionally investing in ai literacy and training for journalists can help them leverage ai very good leverage that's right thank you thank you so much now next person after anup kumar porkodi porkodi correct internet sariya iruka ma yes sir sariya iruka yes sir now i am audible sir oh good 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 you are talking confidently now read this mm. yes sir as of my as of, last uh, mm. Yes, sir. As of my last update in September 2021, the effects of chatbot-based technologies like ChatGPT on journalism were still evolving and not yet fully established. However, I can provide some insights into the potential impacts. First, automation and efficiency. ChatGPT and similar language models can assist journalists in various ways such as generating initial drafts summarizing articles fact checking and re researching information this automation can save time and resources allowing journalists to focus on more critical aspects of their work content generation chatbots can produce written content with impressive fluency and coherence while this can be beneficial oh, for generating not not coherence coherence okay sir coherence um, okay sir chatbots can produce written content with impressive fluency and coherence while this can be beneficial for generating initial drafts for drafts or simple news updates there is a concern that the proliferation of ai generated content may lead to a degrees in original reporting and the creativity authentic journalism involves in in-depth research in-depth in-depth research investigation and storytelling which ai might struggle to replicate fully very good next i think it will be valarbathi have you come yes sir valarbathi please read number 3 yes sir yes sir personalization and audience engagement chatbots can be utilized to create more personalized content for readers tailoring news to individual preferences this could improve reader engagement and help news organizations retain and attract audiences misinformation and bias like any ai system chat gpt is only as good as the data it was trained on if the training data contains biases or misinformation the chatbot might in advent advert constantly propagate them it becomes crucial for journalists and developers to ensure responsible ai use constantly monitor for biases and address any inaccuracies job displacement and skill shift while chatbots can streamline certain tasks they might also raise concerns about job displacement in the journalism industry some roles like content curation and fact checking might still require human intervention but there could be a shift in the skills journalists need to stay relevant in an ai augmented environment very ethical good. challenge now, now very good. next after valarmathi venita spoke puja did you read puja puja yes, are you, yeah please read ethical challenges did you read already no No, sir. no please read ethical challenge ethical challenges using ai in journalism raises uh, ethical concerns related to transparency disclosure and accountability 
Readers should be aware when they are uh, engaging with AI generated content and journalists must consider how AI fits into their ethical standards. It is important. It's important to note that the technology has likely progressed since my last update and these potential effects may have evolved as well. Journalists and news organizations need to be aware of these possibilities and thoughtfully integrate AI tools into their workflows to enhance rather, rather than replace mm. traditional one minute, one, one minute. Rather than replace uh, traditional one minute, sir. Oh, Pooja, you are married? Oh, yes, sir. How many kids do you have? Uh, sir, I have one baby boy. How many year old? Uh, two, uh, two and a half, sir. Achha, what is your husband doing? Sir, my husband is a assistant manager in South Indian Bank. Oh, great. You are staying in which place? Uh, sir, we are staying currently in Goa, in the in Panjim city. Oh, South Indian Bank branch in Goa. Oh, Achha, yes, Goa, it seems, is a very nice place. Is it true? Yes, sir. For tourism, it is also nice. Achha. One minute. Uh, you will complete this, then you will talk to us. Responsible. Please read. Responsible. Yes, sir. Please read responsible. A responsible and ethical use of AI in journalism remains a critical aspect as the technology continues to uh, continues to advance. Very good. Now that you are in Goa, in Goa, yes. what is the language normally people speak? Uh, sir, normally speak uh, in Goa, that is Kokni. Uh -huh. uh, mostly uh, which, uh, which belongs to the Christian community, they are, they are speaking uh, English. Achha, achha. So do you get more opportunities to speak in English in Goa? Uh, sir, there do, are... do you go out of a house every day for work or some? Are you working somewhere? Uh, no, sir. I'm not working now. Achha. Um, the serv do you have an arrangement of having a servant maid at home for doing other extra responsibilities? Uh, yes, sir. And do they talk Konkani or which language? Uh, sir, mostly they are uh, talking, uh, talk with me in Hindi, sir. Achha, achha. You will talk in Hindi. Very good. Excellent. Good. So now, um, how will you be able to manage for this job? Once you are selected, you have a small baby also. How will you manage? Sir, my in-laws are very cooperative with me. Uh, so we uh, we will manage something. Uh, Achha. Are they staying together with you now? Uh, not now, sir. But uh, after I'm working, mm. I will manage. Sir. Excellent. Excellent. Very good. Good, good, good. Thank you. Now, who are the other people who have not read? Anup Kumar read Pooja. Po Poco, what is your... Poco, what Hello, is sir. Your... Poco, what is your name? Sir, my name is Surya. Surya is from which place? Sir, I'm coming from Kerala. Uh, Kerala, and thank God you didn't tell me I am coming from the world. I am coming hmm. from India. Uh, you didn't tell me. Tell me which part of Kerala. Sir, I'm coming from uh, Trivandrum in Kovala. Uh, very good. Kovalam in Trivandrum. Very good. Fine. But then you can yes, ask me, how did I leave uh, when that girl told Goa? Because Goa is a small place huh? compared to other say, states and all. That is the reason. Anyhow, doesn't matter. Poco, okay. what is the degree you studied? Sir, I completed BSc Statics in 2022. Okay. After that? After that, I am uh, looking for bank job. I am uh, going to coaching, bank coaching course. Oh, very good, very good, very good. Which institute in uh, Trivandrum? Sir, Varanda Race. Varanda Race. Are you working in Varanda Race? No. No, sir. I am just studying. I just completed my... Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, I think in Bank of India group, there is a girl working in Varanda Race. Varanda Race uh, in Shivandram or I don't know, Ernakula. 
Very good, very good. That's right. Now, what is, uh, you, st you said you studied BSc Statistics. Yes, sir. I want you to speak in English. Please tell something about statistics. Uh, sir, I I completed my degree in uh, statistics. It is a, it, it's give me good analytics power. I I can analyze all the things. Um, uh, I uh, I can analyze the uh, what is it? Analyze the things that come in my front. Uh, if any uh, there is any problem, I will analyze the how to uh, solve it and how to uh, divide it like that. You are not prepared for this question, correct? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> this is this is what is interview. This is what is GD. You must be able to speak at short notice on different topics, and that ability we must be able to develop. One minute. Now we will go okay. into other aspects. Yeah, there are some more things coming here. Um, those who have not read so far, um, everybody has studied, I think so. So we will start with Vinita again. Vinita, please start. See the screen and read. Chat GPT. Chat GPT can be used to verify the accuracy of news stories by comparing them to, to other sources and identifying any inconsistencies or errors. By analyzing large amounts of text data, chat GDP can uncover new patterns and trends that may not be immediately apparent to human journalists. Vinita, you are having a lot of fear. Are you having fear while reading? No, so this is my first class with you, so that's what I feel. <laughs> you know how you read now? Chat GTP, you said Instead of telling chat GPT, you said chat GTP. That okay. Can uncover. You, instead of telling uncover, you said uncover. Doesn't matter. No problem. You can um, develop confidence. Con developing confidence is the object of this session. I am not going to teach you anything which is directly going to be asked in our Federal Bank in GD. But here I am trying to give, give you a confidence to speak in English and uh, read English content comfortably. Understand, Vinita? Yes, sir. Vinita, what is your father? My father is an ex-serviceman, sir. Army. Achha. Um, What was he in army? It's a Nike, sir. Achha. What is your mother? Mother is a government school teacher, sir. Good. How many siblings you have? I'm only child of my parents. Sir. Oh, God. Is it good to be a single child? No, sir. It's a curse. Very good. That's good. That's right. Good. I appreciate your answer. Now we will go to Anup Kumar. Anup Kumar? Yes, Anup Kumar, can you read this one minute? I will give you something else for you to read. Yeah, please read. How, how does chat GPT affect journalism? Please read. How does chat GPT affect journalism? This allows journalists to quickly gather information from multiple so sources and analyze it in uh, real time. Chat GPT can be used to research and write stories faster and more accurately. It can help journalists uncover uh, facts and insights that would otherwise... Uh, Sorry, will be difficult otherwise to find. Otherwise, be difficult to find. Yeah. Anup Kumar, continue. Yes, sir. Uh, chat, is ChatGPT a threat to journalism? ChatGPT may not take, make journalists uh, obsolete, but it's, generate, uh, gen it's a generation of in inaccurate or false information should make any news outlet nervous. Uh, the world of work hard, uh, has had many a watershed moment. Mm. Now one more. This also. Okay. What is the future of ChatGPT in journalism? One of the most significant implications of ChatGPT on the future future of journalism is the potential for automation of many tasks that are currently performed by journalists. This could uh, lead to significant cost savings for news organizations, but it could also result in job losses for journalists. Very good. Thank you. And then after Anup Kumar, 
Yes, we will uh, we will go to uh, Valar. Valar ji. Yes, sir. Valar ji, yes, one, sir. Mi one minute. Valar ji, Valar ji. Uh, please read. How does generative How does generate hmm. How does generative AI affect journalism? AI can be used to personalize news content for individual readers based on their interests and preferences. This can help news organizations to keep readers engaged and to increase the likelihood that they will click on and read the stories that they are presented to them. Targeting new stories to specific audiences. Hmm. How was chat hmm. GPT used in media? Chat GPT could generate and copy tailored to a specific audience, ensuring that the ad is more effective and reaches the right people. An ad and marketing company could use Chat GPT to personalize social media content for different audiences. What Re causes bias in journalism? Mm -hmm. Demand-driven bias includes three factors, reputation, intrinsic utility from beliefs, and delegation. Other common forms of political and non-political media bias include advertising bias when stories are selected or slanted to please advertisers. Good. What is the impact? Of what is the impact of constructive journalism? Constructive journalism is proposed to increase engagement with and trust in news media, reduce the mental health impact of news con consumption, and provide a more accurate view of the world. Very good. Thank you. Now, next is Vinita Ovar, Valaro, Sir Valaro Puja. Yeah, I think almost all of you have read. No problem. So, like this, you should also make a search in Google. I am only just making a search and showing it to you. You should make a search before coming to the class and take down notes, prepare, and then come so that you can talk comfortably in the class. And this is also of use for you. Groupdiscussionideas.com. I hope all of you must be familiar with this. Groupdiscussionideas.com. Here, the topic for tomorrow is India's Rise Export Ban. This is the current topic that is going on in the newspapers. India's Rise Export Ban. This is what we are going to take up for discussion tomorrow. Now, before our closing, um, all of us have had opportunity to read about artificial intelligence, journalism, whatever it is. So we have all read it. But one thing um, that most of us do is that um, we read without retaining in our mind. That should not be the case. From now onwards, till you are getting selected into your job, your effort should be to read at the same time, get it registered in your mind so that you can reproduce. So we will have a simple exercise now on the same topic we are going to talk. And if you, you have to talk for one minute. If you can, you can talk for two minutes on this topic. And only thing is, I want you to speak in correct English. Is, was, this, that, he, she, her, whatever it is. These things you must use proper words and speak. We will start initially with Anup Kumar. Anup Kumar, please speak yes, sir. for one minute. Sir, is it is the topic ChatGPT? Same same topic. You know oh. the problem all of you had was you were not prepared. You are not studied. Now I have given you an option to read and then come. Now. Based on what you have read, how are you able to reproduce it? Even here, the ability of all of us will differ. Someone amongst us will be able to repeat whatever we have read earlier. Some others, may, we may not be able to remember and speak also. Some of us may be able to remember, but not in correct wording. So that is what we are going to test now. Mr. Anup. 
yes okay sir uh good evening everyone uh, let's uh, let's discuss about the topic chat gpt we all know that chat gpt is an ai tool ai tool chat gpt means that uh, chat generative uh, pre trained transformer and it is an artificial intelligence uh, that can process our, uh, our uh, natural human language and generate responses uh, it can be used uh, in uh, the the ba on base of journalism it can be used uh, used to, to verify the accuracy of news uh, stories uh, accuracy of news stories uh, by comparing them to other sources uh, and identifying any uh, inconsistencies or errors uh, uh i the humans uh, get information from chat gpt by making a chat on the uh, chat with robotic uh, robotic like uh, when you are chatting in whatsapp or something like that and there are sir i think I, i'll go to vinita 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 speak for one minute vinita are you there vinita internet is not there so whenever i want people to speak yes, internet sir. will not work vinita speak audible sir yeah okay sir the efforts of chat gdp i see chat gdp is designed to mimic language human language and uh, in the in the in a few years they have witnessed remarkable changes in the field of artificial intelligence among those uh, field in um, journalism uh, it has been impacted on uh, chat gdp and uh, chat gdp can be trained to generate news articles um, summaries or headlines quickly and accurately ac accurately and this means um, if the news rooms can be produced more content in less time Pro produce content in multiple language also is accessible and making news more accessible to non native speakers too i think um, it it it's a, a time consist it's not a time consistable process uh, in, in in the same way we will considering drawbacks of chat gdp it's a, it's sustainable to bias and inaccuracies uh that can be present in the data and um, it leads to the spread of fake news sir that's Co correct so correct good good vinita two three mistakes one you were always using chat gtp chat gtp so this is chat gpt okay, okay so that one number two you in the finally when you came you said news us which is normal mistake most of us do news singular news plural there is no such word as news as understand okay sir okay sir that's one and one more mistake also you did i am not remembering it doesn't matter good you spoke well thank you now we will go to poco m4 poco m4 please speak sir. on chat gpt Okay, sir. Uh, Chat GPT is a AI platform. It help to journal. It help journalists to, uh, it help journalists to, um, uh, quickly take an. Sorry, sir. It allow journalists to uh, quickly get the information and accurate information, uh, about what they want. I'd also help them to correct and spot the errors, uh, in the, in the, spot their errors, um, uh. So it's oh, done with me. Okay, Pooja. Pooja, Yan. Yes, ma'am. Please yes, speak. Sir, mm. uh, so ChatGPT allows uh, uh, journalists uh, to quickly gather information uh, from multiple sources and analyze, uh, analyze, uh, anal analyze uh, gathered. Uh, Uh, gathered information in uh, re in real time uh, chat gpt used uh, to research uh, used to research and write stories faster and more accurately uh, mostly chat gpt uh, mostly chat gpt is a automation uh, system 
of many tasks and are cur currently preferred uh, preferred by journal journalists. Uh, but uh, there are some drawbacks of the Ch Chat GPT because the Chat GPT uh, is the automation system. It leads it leads to cost savings. It is a positive for the news organization, but for the journalist and journalism uh, journalism career, uh, it could also result in job loss. Super, super, super. Uh, good, very good. I am happy. Pooja, you talked well so far. Among Anup, Vinita, Poco, and Pooja, Pooja only has been able to communicate to some extent with confidence. So this, what I want you to see, see while reading, you read with a view to repeating it, say again. If you practice that, that will go very well. So Pooja, you did well. Now we will go to Valarmati. Valarmati, speak on this yes. topic. Good evening, everybody. I'm Balar Madhi. I'm from Tamil Nadu. Thanks for giving me the opportunity to discuss about the topic effects of uh, chat GPT on journalism. Uh, chat GPT is an AI chatbot that uses uh, natural language processing to create a human-like uh, uh, conversational dialogue. And uh, journalism is the activity of processing, creating and accessing uh, and presenting news. Uh, uh, but the use of chat GPT in uh, a journalism uh, is you uh, is mainly for small news outlet and uh, 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 for in uh, in the area of journalism uh, the work of the journalist is to create uh, news uh, news but chat GPT can able to uh, help uh, the news with, uh, news. Uh, about the uh, news uh, which is going on, but uh, they can able to uh, give the information uh, uh, about the past news also. So it is helpful in that area, uh, but but sometimes it may uh, give bias information. And uh, one uh, yeah, one useful uh, uh, activity of chat GPT is, is for journalists is to get the past uh, news of some news uh, which they need uh, about the future content, uh, which they need about the past content. So it is accessible for them to uh, get the news about the uh, particular uh, news uh, which they want to gain. And uh, at the uh, same time, uh, it is it will uh, give uh, information uh, which is uh, which may be wrong, and it have the capacity to give the information with the correct accuracy for in some aspects. Because uh, it is handled by human tools only uh, when compared to uh, other Google uh, search platforms. And ChatGPT uh, 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 has contained limited amount of information. Uh, sometimes they are giving the uh, information with accuracy, but in some cases, uh, they don't have the content. If you're searching some common topics in ChatGPT, uh, it will uh, give the com content commonly. They can it cannot able to give the content on specific uh, way like uh, if you're searching for India, uh, it cannot able to give the uh, real aspect of that uh, news uh, about India. It will give the news in the common manner one day. Very good. And, uh, thank you, thank it. you. Not bad. Even now, today also you used uh, one word two three times. News, uh, news is correct. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Always you do that, but otherwise you talk nicely. So this level of confidence Valarmati has been able to develop after practicing, talking compulsorily every day and for the last nearly two months, correct Valarmati? Yes, sir. Nearly two months she has been here. Compulsorily she, she, she has been compelled to talk at least for two, three minutes per day. So that is what is helping her to speak to this extent. And similarly, Parkodi, please come. Please talk about yes, artificial intelligence. Yes, sir. Okay, sir. Uh, ChatGPT uh, is uh, used in a journalism. Uh, it gives a good uh, response uh, to journalists because uh, using ChatGPT, we can get uh, more news uh, with a quick time. Uh, and, uh, and so uh, we get... Uh, lot of news uh, about a, a particular topic um, and uh, uh, using uh, chat gpt uh, we can uh, 
uh, form uh, advertisements it it is uh, more attractive uh, so it is also used in uh, media and um, chat gpt can generate audio and uh, video content um, and uh, so many advantages are there in chat gpt but sometimes it gives a uh, uh, biased uh, news like uh, mm, uh, it uh, gives a uh, news like a uh, prejudice um because it is based on it is act uh, on uh, based it, it is act on uh, old data so sometimes uh, the old data may be uh, wrong uh, that uh, result also wrong and um, uh, if uh, we can get uh, more information from chat chat gpt but we can um, verify that after uh, we can um, uh, publish uh, publish that because very good, uh, uh, very good. good good nice See, the, the famous way of that is, um, you know, many times even in our WhatsApp and all, we get uh, some information which may not be true. Some people will post uh, about the results, you know. Invariably, this is, this is the strategy that used to happen. Somebody will post the results of the previous year and state the results have come. So everybody will be rushing towards the internet and checking up. They, they will find their number is not there. So that is why, um, that is what artificial intelligence is used. I mean, we can get the previous information easily and reproduce it. Artificial intelligence is used for getting previous data. The previous data may be true or wrong. The best way is to use that data after verifying about the genuineness of the data and uh, it is one way good that we can use it on a real-time basis that is immediately and of course in journalism journalism their work has been made slightly easier that they can collect information quickly however because the news can be collected quickly, this may also result in some loss of job um, in journalism. However, artificial intelligence has been is being used in almost all walks of life nowadays, in banking, say in railways and every other field, it is being used. For example, in banking, it is used as chatbot. In um, in fact, yesterday. I was making payment of, uh, I was having a problem with Paytm. Paytm was not uh, connecting me. Then the solution was done only by the artificial intelligence. Nobody was sitting there. I was operating in Canada time, day time, India time, night. But everything was done only by chat, um, this artificial, not chat GPT, the artificial intelligence. It was trying to help me get out of it. It told you should give your ID. You should also give your photograph. You should also give the date on top of it. And once the details were given, the account was restored. So chat GPT, I mean, artificial intelligence is useful to some extent, but may not be useful always. For example, when you go to Federal Bank website, and ask for some doubts in the chat GPT, it may not answer all the questions. It will repeat the same answer again and again. So that's the only problem with the artificial intelligence. Thank you so much. All of you talk nicely. The only thing is many of us are not able to talk, one, because we don't have information. Second point, we have fear in our mind that we may not be able to speak well in English. Number three, there is no practice or there is no compulsion for us to talk in English. On account of these three reasons, probably we are not able to communicate. These three problems can be sorted out by your participating in class while you must have seen my previous videos, I ask people to talk and at the end of their talking, I give them the material, whatever is available before me, so that they can read and retain in their mind. Today, I did one extra step. 
I wanted them to repeat what they studied. So probably this practice, we can do it in future days also, if we have time. The idea is many of us come here without reading. So that problem can be sorted out here. However, I would request you to prepare on this topic by not only going through the group discussion ideas, but also make a search in Google with different words. Ban on export of rice from India, India export ban, whatever it is, you put it and then try to get so many new ideas and um, pre prepare, say, five to six lines material. In fact, I have told in my previous classes, whenever we talk, we always should talk using seven Ws. What, when, why, where, which, how, who. About each topic, if you analyze like this, it will become a paragraph. Please practice that for tomorrow's topic ban on export of rice by India. Best wishes. Thank you so much. I will post this video online and you can also see that. And um, tomorrow when you come, I want you to come as a fully prepared person. Your content must be ready for at least five to six lines or even 10 lines. You come and speak comfortably. I don't want you to read what you have prepared. I want you to speak from what you are having in your mind. Thank you so much. Thanks for new joinees. Some, for example, Anup, Pooja, Vinita, Poko. Thanks for coming today. Best wishes. I wish you come on future days also. The idea is to get an opportunity to think in English, speak in English. Thank you. Bye. Any Thank questions? You. Any questions anybody has? Right now, don't worry. Your result will come within a week or 10 days. And after that, we'll be very busy. I will take you to the real GD questions. We will discuss from them also. Okay. Thank sir, you. Sir, can I ask you a question, sir? Yeah. Sir, tomorrow's timing? Same uh, 5 o'clock. Uh, 5 o'clock, sir. I don't know why I kept this five o'clock, but this is what I have been keeping. In fact, right now, I'm not at all busy. Even if we start at 6.30, 7, it is okay for me. Doesn't matter. We will go with the same timing because if I change every day, that will cause confusion. Every day, five o'clock, that will be better. But if some people who are working in some organization, they come and request, then... Maybe we can postpone it to 7 o'clock or 8 o'clock. Depends on the request of the group. But then it may affect these um, family people like Puja, Valar and these people. It may affect, you know, that will be the right time when they have to cook food and all that. That problem will be there. Anyhow, thank you so much. Best wishes. Any other question? Vinita, Poco, Puja, Porkodi, Valar. No, no question. Sir. No questions. Best wishes. No, we'll meet no, tomorrow. We'll meet tomorrow. Okay. Okay, okay sir. Thank you.